shows are lying and we're, we're at Hill Gardens by Pacific Home and we're here to see this show home, which is the Chadworth, a four bedroom ditto. Ah! Hello! Back, hello. In, a, back in a house hello at back. last! <laughs> Oh my god. It's a lifetime. It feels like a lifetime since we've been in the show oh. home. But we're back. Well, I, we was expecting you and to be wearing a mask. Without a mask, which we were allowed to do. We are indeed. Well, where are we then? We're in the Chedworth. Four bedrooms. Yes. We're in Shrewsbury. I'm right on the outskirts of Shrewsbury. We are. Countryside we, location. We're Hill Gardens. Beautiful spot. But I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go round. Okie dokie. Well, we've got a nice hallway here, haven't we? We have. I like a Chedworth. We've been in a Chedworth before, haven't we? Yes. Lovely. But I think it's moved on a bit since then. It's been a Certainly while. Certainly has. Right. So, let's make a start in here then. So, they've got this presented as a, dress, a, a dressing room, a dining room. I'm already thinking I'm upstairs. Dimensions. 3 metres 29 by 3 metres or 10 foot 9 by 9 foot 10. You've got a really good window at the front there. I think you have three, almost three panes to that, two, two well, actual opening windows. If we can show the viewers, although they would have already seen the, uh, the shots at the beginning. The Chedworth is actually double fronted, isn't yeah. it? So you've got the front door in the middle, very traditional looking house. And as you can see, this site is very much under construction, isn't it? There's a lot of work going on. Yeah. And there is actually another developer on here as well, isn't there? Yeah, but it's got, I tell you what, though, it is a good almost square room with plenty... We think it was a square room, you've got plenty of... Plenty place. But if you, don't, if you don't have any use for a dining room, could be a playroom, could be a second lounge for your teenagers... Or even a bedroom. Or a study... Yeah. yeah, many different things that you can do. Well, I was saying, though, with a square room, you've got lots of potential to put the furniture on all walls. Well, or the, the current trend of the corner yeah. sofa. So we've got a bit of an angle to this as it leads you to the stairs, which is nice. Oh. Just pinch that off, the, off, that, um, off that dining room slightly. Mm. So, next then, on the ground floor, we've got living room. So again, it's part of that of the other side of the double front. Oh, beautiful. Look at these beautiful cushions. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, I like those very much. Right, let me give you some dimensions. Four metres, just over the four metres by a fraction, uh, by three metres twenty-eight, or thirteen foot three by ten foot nine. It's slightly longer this yeah. way, isn't it? But big window there, as with the dining room at the front. I do like that traditional look. I do with the with the kind of portico, yeah. you know, the window on either I, side. I like the symmetry of that yeah, of the it's house. Very nice symmetry. That's the word. Very nicely presented as well. So we've got the stairs there. We'll go up there in a bit. So here at the rear, ooh, okay. Oh, like this very it's a nice sunny day as well today, which is it's always beautiful. good. It's beautiful. It's 29 you're... degrees outside. It's always good when you're filming show homes. So we've got kitchen, family room, but then also we've got a utility and a downstairs WC that way that we'll go there in a minute. So let's have a look at the family room first, okay. Well, again, they've got this dressed as a kind of a little breakfast area, haven't they? They've not yeah. got it set up with a sofa and a TV, but you could do. To be fair, it's quite spacious, this house. Let's give you some dimensions. Lovely big garden there as well, look. 6 metres 18 by 2 metres 9, 20 foot 3 by 9 foot 6 in width. So yeah, I mean they've got a lovely little table and chairs there, but you could have a sofa, you can have your TV on the wall, lots of toys if you've got children. This is very nice, like it. French doors there out into the garden. Oh Steve, take a look out there, look, look at all those butterflies. 
Oh, you've missed them. Oh, oh well. There was about 20 of them just dancing around. I'll tell you what I do like, just a quick little observation. Mm -hmm. I love those terracotta. Look at, normally you'll get slates on a roof, but they're like almost like terracotta tiles. That's what they look like. Absolutely beautiful. Well, actually, when you come here, you'll be able to see. So they've got a mixed street scene there. Yeah. They, with the roofs. But there's one there with a with a dormer look in the uh, in the roof. In the rear, yeah. Right. So kitchen. It's very very nice, isn't it? Should we have a little look to see what's going on? So you've got cupboards, lots of drawers, more drawers. That's your dishwasher there, integrated. Cups, not cups, cupboards. They've got a lovely work surface. They've got a one and a half bowl sink. And they've actually extended this beautiful work surface up onto the windowsill. So, plenty of cupboard space. You've got your fridge and freezer there behind the door. Your oven is over this side. With a beautiful hob. That must be so easy to clean. Very, very nice. Plenty of cupboard space. A good sized kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Utility room with the downstairs loo. So very conveniently situated off the kitchen. Yeah. <coughs> They've got door stops under the door, Steve. So if you want to... Uh... So we've actually got a door out outside, which is always handy. Good substantial garden on here, and it does look actually like a lot of the plots do have substantial gardens. Well, it's always good to have a back door, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than just your main access to the garden through the uh, through the French doors. If you've got a dog or you've got kids, take your laundry yeah. out, peg it on the line. This is the most convenient way. So we've got an ideal logic boiler there, yeah. doing its business, and the RCD box, which is good. It's a good position up there. That is a good position for it, isn't yeah. it? Because we do see them in some really odd places. So there's actually space for two appliances here, which is, is a bugbear of mine. Well, I really like the two appliances. Yeah, they've things. actually got the plug there for the tumble dryer, yeah. which is really good. So that's integrated, so it all disappears. There's no sink in here, but, you know, that's yeah. okay. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so let's put this door stop back. There we go. So... Oh yes, I remember this from uh, the last time. So you just got you've just got the volume of the stairs just poking up there. Just see it. It's nice, though, isn't it? They've made yeah. a feature of it, and then you've got that tiny little window there. Yeah, it's like a porthole window. It's a borrower's window. Yeah, I like but that. lovely plastering detail. What a nice little sink. Yeah, well. actually, and it's nice now to see some of the new showrooms and the new. Some yeah. of the new, the new um, sanitary wear that they're using. Well, funnily enough, we're thinking of remodelling our downstairs cloakroom, yeah. and we want a small sink, don't yeah, we? That's quite a nice little sink. That would be just right because we don't. We've got one at the moment that is huge, so that would be perfect. I really like that. It's very nice. Plenty of space. It's actually bigger than it looks. I think yeah. it's like a TARDIS. So let's head up the wooden hills. Mm. So nice um, handrail that runs around, one, literally cut into one piece, which is nice. See that running up here? The edge of the newel coming, up, that the newel post just coming in there, look. Actually, this looks like a really nice spit. Wow, it's a good sight. Look at this. So you've got a window here behind you, Steve. Oh, that's unusual. It's coral. Yeah. It's really nice. Right. So just out in the, the cupboard here, the spare cupboard here, we've got a me, um, the Neo Media unit and notice we've got some um, inbuilt speakers into the roofs and stuff into the ceiling, which is nice. Of course an extra. I was going to say, is, is that staying or is that for the benefit of the sales centre? No, 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 that, that is actually an integrated entertainment system for the house like a server if you like I suppose there is a server in it which is probably for the sales centre but there you go <laughs> okay right let's make a start so 
on my left then we have bedroom three. I am actually, do you know what? They are actually um quite spacious rooms. Well, this isn't the smallest bedroom. No, this is this is good. This is three metres by two metres seventy four or nine foot ten by nine foot. Really got and it's got an inter, um, integrated wardrobe, built in wardrobe there. Which presumably is an upgrade. Yeah. all off this sort of really large central landing so next you've got bedroom four so this is in the middle then at the front so here we're over the front door over the hallway but even for that size it's still a big room yeah this is this is the smallest of the four bedrooms but it's still a good size so it's two meters 51 by two meters 37 well they've got a cabin bed in yeah. here but actually, you've still got room for a wardrobe if you wanted one, a little desk. So it's a good size single room, isn't it? Or Absolutely. an office or a nursery, <clears throat> whatever you wanted it for. Certainly is, certainly is. And cute as well, look. It is cute. I'm going to have a look in here. And actually, you'll see when we go into the next bedroom, which is bedroom two, how they've managed to make this bedroom so big. Because they've pinched a little bit of room there from bedroom two. But it doesn't feel like it, does it? No, we've got a fitted, looks like another fitted wardrobe in here. Um, but obviously, uh, usually fitted fitted I, furniture is, is an upgrade. Yeah, it's yeah, It's something absolutely. additional. Um, and it's something that developers fit for the, for the purposes of a show home, yeah. isn't it? So dimensions, 3 metres 33 by 3 metres 51, which is 10 foot 9 by 11 foot 6. But a good sized double bedroom. Yeah, I do. What do you think of the like, the um, lamps? Yeah, they're nice. I think they're a bit big for that, I do. Oh, no, I like them very much. Yeah, I never noticed those. I'm, I'm just thinking whether you get an iPad an iPad on the table. <laughs> for you midnight could put it reading. Underneath, couldn't you? No, talking of lights, look look at this one here, look at that. Yeah, no, we'd unusual. bang our head on that, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, we would. So this is your master bedroom, bedroom yeah. one. They've got some Let's open up lovely. one of the, let's open up one of the wardrobes. Let's see what uh, how we're looking. Well if they've got any treats inside. Yeah, well they're well. ready they're ready for winter, that's all that matters. They've got some heaters. <laughs> Very nice. This is a good space for some fitted furniture, yeah. isn't it? If you were thinking about having some. Yeah, no, it's good. Right. Dimensions in here. Three, three metres 33 by three metres 49 or 10 foot 9 by 11 foot 6. The, the light is just flooding into these rooms. And right. I'll tell you why. It's just because, because these gardens, I mean, let's be honest, let's have a look. The gardens are big here, aren't they? And when you've got big gardens, you've got the properties that are less spaced out, they're, they're, you know, more spaced out, meaning size, that you get a lot more sunshine into some of the houses, and that's really good, that is. Oh, I'll tell you what, only an expert like me could tell what those houses are from, the, from, from behind. I can see a Rufford there. <laughs> right, so they've got a double bed in here. I would say you've definitely got room for a king size. You'd be stretched with a super king with the fitted wardrobes, but you know, not most people manage perfectly well with a double bed if that's your thing. Yeah. Right. So also with this bedroom, you've got a, a little ensuite. Now I haven't got any dimensions for the ensuite, but uh, oh, you pop in there, Steve. I don't think there's room for both of us. It is a very good size, though, the window. Very nice, isn't it? So you've got a shower. So you've got a there's a choice there for a standard shower or rainfall as well. So a sink with a pedestal and a very nice loo. Well, actually. Ignore this. I was going to say you might want to explain why you've got an orange. Well, it was going to be cravat. This is. <laughs> It's because I'm posh. <laughs> it's because I'm yeah. posh. It's your, it's your mask, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We did have to wear masks, obviously, coming yeah, in yeah. here, but we were able to take them off once we got inside. Which the is show, a great right? relief to me. Yeah. Because um, of having glasses well, and stuff and like that. Well, and also, 
It would be difficult to film on camera, wouldn't it, and yeah. to talk about what we do. But wow, oh wow, it's a good house. It Absolutely. Is. Let me just tell you a little bit more about where we are in terms of Shrewsbury and Shropshire. Um, so Shrewsbury is the big market town within Shropshire. It's kind of right in the centre. This end of town, you are very close to the Shire Hall, um, the sort of Belvedere, Monkmore area of town. So you're that side of the river, very close to some good schools. The hospital is 15 minutes away. You're 20 minutes drive to Telford. Very Actually, close. You are literally you just yeah. not that far from ten, the ten minutes yeah. to the town centre with all the shops and the restaurants and things. So really well situated, and it's going to be a big development. Oh, the other thing is Shrewsbury College um, is five minutes in that direction. Yeah. So really great for. We actually know that because we used to live in Shrewsbury originally. We did. But yeah, what a good what a, and this is a really spacious house, isn't it? It's very nice. Yeah. And for a four bed, four Absolutely. bed detached, very nice. Yeah. And again, you can find this house type on many, many persimmon yeah. um, developments. Just check our playlist out. Yes, because we have been in a Chedworth before. Um, so, yes, please check that out. If you've liked this video, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe because it really helps our channel out. Um, and we will hopefully catch you on our next video really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.